Welcome to Into the Light Podcast. This is where we will be discussing and exploring all things Ascension. Ascension journey, Ascension journey mapping, and understanding how we can deepen and increase our spiritual and healing journey, along with understanding concepts around the global consciousness awakening that's happening, quantum energy healing, personal growth and enlightenment, trauma healing, and so much more as we learn together from experts in the field. I'm your host, Adina Movana, and I appreciate you taking the time to join me today. Let's dive in. For those of you who don't know, Veronica Parks is a soul healer and channel of divine love. She is the founder of Angel's Gate Academy, a spiritual road to self-mastery. Using the sound healing method, Veronica is able to help people clear past trauma and karma and activate their light. Veronica also guides groups in spiritual and emotional journeys through time and other dimensions to reprogram people's mind and bodies. And using a really intuitive approach to energy healing, holistic nutrition, timeline therapy, hypnosis, NLP, and channel messages. Veronica all these uses all these different methods to clear and clear the pain, clear the trauma, and, and clearing what's holding people back from their experiences. So <laughs> thank you so much for that, uh, Veronica. I'm so glad that you're here today. Such a beautiful time for us to connect on the 222 portal. This is... <laughs> 222 is known for being the, the that angel number of a major, major change. And that's not just for ourselves, it's for the entire collective. So looking forward to anything, everything that comes through today. Yeah, amazing. You mentioned the 222 portal because I was just posting on my social media and I've been reading, hearing influencers talk about this portal and why it's so important. And I guess it's like open for maybe this full week. So it's time to start really getting our, our manifestations in line. Can you tell me a little bit maybe to kick us off? Because I, I know we scheduled it for today. And I'm just feeling like we're so blessed to have you on such a, you know, such a powerful day. Well, the way I see it in the collective and the way we can benefit the most out of a portal opening in general is to declutter what we no longer want to bring with us. And what a time, what a better time to declutter than, declutter than right now, which is right before spring, right? So that means decluttering maybe items in your home that when you look at it, doesn't make you smile, that has to go, right? Decluttering your personal space, decluttering your emotional space, your mental space, your anything from your heart, from your soul that you don't want to bring into this new era and with the full moon coming up in just a few days like the energies are getting really really strong so what is it for you right now in this moment that you are like I've carried this my whole life maybe I've carried my mom's pain my whole life maybe I carried my dad's pain my whole life maybe I carried my sister my brother whatever that is maybe I carried beliefs that deep inside I know not to be true so as you find some of those truths within you you can simply close your eyes and imagine yourself taking off all those extra layers, all those things that you've been carrying and say what in this new portal, in this opening of our field as a collective, I choose to walk in as the best version of myself, whatever that is for you. Maybe it's smiling a little bit more, maybe is giving a hug, maybe sending an extra I love you text message to someone. How can I be a better version of myself today so I can continue progressing and ascending at the same pace for the rest of this journey? So it is yeah. truly a time of, of recalibration and, and seeing what goes and what doesn't. Yeah, I love that, how we're, we become aware of showing up as the best version of ourselves and why that's important. And I know you do a lot of talk with your clients about like getting on our best and highest self timeline or the fact that we're multidimensional beings and that there's all these different possibilities. And now people are getting very confused about how to timeline jump or do, do some of this, some of this work. So what do you tell people who are confused about what these concepts even are in the first place and how we can really work with this energy to, to create our manifestations in that way? Well, we are we can constantly shift from one timeline to another because every choice that we make is, am I this version or am I this version? 
can align us with specific people, specific circumstances that will help us enhance that version we choose to be, right? If you if you come in and you're like, what, I'm going to pick the timeline of a CEO, then you're going to attract people that help you match that timeline. So as we can look forward and see this might happen, this might happen, this might happen, I want to reiterate that we truly have that key at any given point in time is to who do I choose to see myself show up my as, as, as my whole self in this world? That is the timeline I choose for myself. If I wake up in the morning and I immerse myself in news and all the terrible things that are happening, that that is the timeline I choose for myself. If I wake up in the morning and I immerse myself in meditation, maybe I have some birds making that beautiful sound healing right by my window. If I tune into that, now I chose a different timeline. So we can have every choice, every thought, every word takes us closer to who we are as an essence, as a purity, as a divine source, or it takes us away more towards, I guess we call it the matrix or the system that only 3D density of the reality. So it is truly up to us which timeline. And if you were to try to comprehend everything in this world and all that we're speaking right now with the logical mind, you are missing 95% of the picture because our logical mind, our conscious mind can only grasp so much at any given point in time. So instead of knowing which is the best, which is not the best, my invitation is to trust yourself. And when you wake up in the morning, say, I raise my whole self to my highest timeline that is the best for me, for the highest good of all. So you allow the wholeness of you, your entire console team, your angels, everything to make the choice as a whole, as a team, not only you as an identity, as an ego. So I would say let go of trying to understand everything and follow your heart and simply ask today and every day for the rest of this reincarnation, I choose to align myself with the highest timeline and know that what is best will show up in the most divine way. That's not to say that your life is going to be all perfect, but how you perceive it and how you dance through it, that makes the difference of your experience. Right. Yeah, I I, I feel that. And also when we're like, I feel like people are talking a lot about doing the work on our ego or I mean, like you were talking about our our mind is or our experiences are being filtered through like our logical mind and creating these blockages or these points of resistance. And it's, it's like, how do we, how do we put that in perspective with the work that we need to do to balance out our ego or our, our, our side that's trying to protect us with the sides that is maybe more compassionate energy or on that side of the, of the fence, like when we're navigating. It all goes back to your choice. Do you choose your light? Do you choose your density? And ultimately, traversing through this realm is finding that perfect dance that works for you. If you are having the demanding job that keeps you in 3D, that you have to be in your logical mind all the time, Mm. that is okay. Maybe you can find a few moments in between and simply share a smile or, or place something on your desk that in an instant can inspire and remember the remembrance of how amazing you felt in that moment. And at the end of the day, do that energy shower, that cleansing of your system, the same thing in the morning. If you are called to be this new leader or share this on a more of of becoming that portal, then obviously the ask from you, it's much bigger, is to somehow, some way detach from this grasp of the matrix. And the way we detach from that is enjoy all things, but don't become attached to it. Meaning if they're here, great. If they're not here, great. How can you make heaven out of any situation that you're in? Yeah, because I, yeah, I feel like people are talking about how there's, there's more than what exists and what we're seeing in this 3D matrix, but we're having to become this sort of like conscious observer and let light rather than being more triggered or uh, dysregulated by what's going on in our environment. And instead, we're striving in this consciousness process to kind of elevate away from that and become more of a detached observer and not be so entrenched in like 
the 3D reality, right? Sometimes <laughs> that's what I, I hear described as. And oh, yeah, we got it. We got a comment how many woke up TikTok timeline this morning, how we can shift realities when we're already de derailed. Oh, they're asking how can we shift realities when we're already derailed by our day by exposing ourselves to something negative? Does that make sense? Absolutely. The choice yeah. <laughs> is from here now. From here now, what do you choose to do tomorrow? Maybe, maybe you adopt a new way of living by not having your phone by your side. Put it so far away from you that by the time you get there, you already had a chance to think about how grateful you are. You could already imagine how amazing your day is going to be as you plan it in your mind, in your heart, in your field ahead of time. Everything is happening in and now. So what if you wake up in the morning? And before you open TikTok, Instagram, and all those oh, portals that are just like sweeping your energy, what if you simply keep your eyes closed and you go through your day as, okay, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have my tea and I'm going to do this and, and add that level of enthusiasm, like you were that little child or, or the dog that is so happy to see you when you come back home, copy the enthusiasm is within all of us. Bring the inner child to work this game we call life if your inner child is fully holy there and i begin to see the whole life with joy so invest that time in you silence right. envisioning how you want your day to go by before you give your whole energy to the outside world because when you open that portal you don't know what's going to be there unless you did a declutter of your social media and you only follow those very few individuals that are truly sharing things that are opening the heart the soul now that is your choice. Yeah, I love that. And like you mentioned in the beginning, we declutter our our space sometimes in this spring cleaning period, right? And just how it it brings so much clear, it like brings so much more peacefulness to your space or to your closet or to whatever is being cleared out as well as your your social media or even just Sometimes I feel like a lot of us are going, we've been in a hermit mode socially, not just wanting to be spending more time alone and not necessarily needing to be surrounded by others all the time in this, in this process. So clearing out people energetically also being really valuable in this time. And I guess going into this portal, we hear a lot about making room, clearing out what doesn't fulfill us anymore. It doesn't serve us. So now we're making room for bringing in the things that do right and allowing that those new energies to come in. Especially this month with so many solar flares, there's so many downloads that our vessels, our bodies are receiving. And it is at utmost importance, not only to nourish the body and stay hydrated, but to take that time to be with you. And then yeah. if it's tough to be with those thoughts, then maybe play some sound healing music, a, a frequency that harmonizes, that brings you into that coherence with the Kundalini of Mother Earth, with with all that is surrounding us, we had lost our connection to the source. Like if I were to ask any person, how when was the last time you actually touched the ground with your skin? Mm -hmm. That is your true healing and it's free and it's in your backyard or maybe if you're in an apartment. There are ways to connect to Mother Earth, but she's the one healing our body. She's providing the, the food and the nourishment. And yet we buy packaged food, we buy things that are so far away from the life force of that food and then our vessels hurt and when our vessels hurt we need more medicine and the more we go on this slippery slope we'll lose the connection to the source because the source needs a pure body a cleansed body nourished by mother earth the most natural fresh fruit and vegetables to nourish this vessel so you can hold that space for the energy that comes through because otherwise you are simply going through this density as a human being and it is dense and it could get tough and uncomfortable, especially with all the shifts. So the invitation for you is can you allocate at least some time in your beautiful linear time to be with you, to do that meditation. I've shared many guided journeys on YouTube. There's so many amazing pure beings that are sharing this, so to speak, highways that you can simply play it. And, and bathe in that frequency because somebody else had already made the recording for you to, to take you from this place higher so you don't have to do the hard work yourself. And that is why we're sharing this. We're, we're all in this together. We're all in yeah. this together. 
Amazing. Yeah. And I, I know you mentioned a few different modalities here. Tell, tell me a little bit about the clients that you work with, because I know you do nutrition, you do sound healing, you do, it's a lot, it's a lot of different, I know mentioned NLP and hypnosis. And so tell me a little bit about how you work with your clients and what kind of transformations you're, you're getting when you do, when you do this work together and really are much more tuned in on a spiritual level to a lot of these different modalities of healing. I began with many modalities like hypnosis, NLP and so forth. And, and doing all that decluttering on my own field and my own karma and trauma and DNA what opened up to me is the ability to simply be this channel of what's coming through. So when a person feels guided to come into my realm and then receive that one session activation, or maybe they're working on something longer, I simply open myself up to what's coming through. And at times could be maybe some incorporation of NLP hypnosis, but oftentimes there's so many things happening on so many realms that almost instantly shows shifts in the 3D reality. So in other words, is as I went through my human way of learning different techniques, I opened myself up to the ability to access anything I need in that moment for that person. And for those who have worked with me, they already know the moment you book a session, my field is already working on you. So you'll begin getting ready and feeling shifts in your field before you even get to speak with me in person. So I, I don't take credit for any of it. Any of it. And I'm looking, it's February 22, 220 in Arizona. I mean, <laughs> Pacific time. Pacific, yeah. A lot of twos, a lot of twos. What needs to come through well, the only promise I can make from all that I've observed so far is that you will come into my realm when you're ready for a transformation to open to a greater version of you and, and maybe open up those spiritual superhuman abilities that now you can take it and apply it as a leader in your company, in your business. As I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, they get to touch a lot of people. So it is not one way. It is not one way because there's so many people, there's so many expressions of our individuality. They're focusing on a specific technique and saying that this is the way. That'll be the biggest lie I would share. So opening up to what needs to come through, I found it to be the best way I can personally be of service to anyone that comes into my realm. And it's 2-2. Amazing. 2 On 2 2024 guys. Thank you. That was an amazing share, Veronica, because I, I love how it sounds like you work with entrepreneurs and business minded bringing bringing that spiritual work into making sure we're on a successful path with our businesses and i love that your program is called a spiritual like it's a spiritual road to self mastery because like we were talking a little bit earlier i find that no matter what religion like i come from a muslim background and i've been reading books spiritually about controlling the nefs, which is like our lower self, our ego self, and doing more work on healing through the afflictions and the purification of the heart process. And I feel like so much of what works being focused on right now on an energetic level and with different spiritual modalities and traditions that it's all really focused on that ego and that self mastery work and being more balanced and regulated. And it leading into areas of our mental and our physical and everything being more in alignment. So it's it's like a whole a whole process that we have to go through when we're when we're going down this kind of spiritual awakening journey, right? And it affects all these different areas of our life. So I'm curious about how I, I know you mentioned a little bit of the clients you work with. How how long do you end up working with people and what do you end up doing with your clients to really to see these breakthroughs because I know you mentioned clearing out the trauma and clearing out this deep-seated limiting beliefs and things like that so how long do people take usually when they're working with you to to see really transformational results that is up to the person that is okay. truly up to the person <laughs> the more open you are the quicker you get we get there like I have have experiences where we could fix a huge problem in, in one session. And I had people who were still holding on to what they knew. And they asked me, can we go at a slower pace? So it is truly up to the person. 
what I've noticed is that, look, we, we are here to expand the remember all that we are. And it's an interesting light coming through. So it fix that. I got many friends. Remind me what, what were we? Yeah, we were talking about the process of what people go through when they're working with you. And sometimes it's up to the person if it's they get results faster or sometimes there's more deep, deeper work that takes a little bit longer. It sounds like when when they're on this journey. So, yes. yeah. So it is up to the person. What I say, and I, I held several summits, soul healing summits last year, inviting so many different healers and healing modalities, because when you meet that person that really activates you, that you feel in every cell of your body, like, I don't know why, whether it activates you in a, in a comfortable way or uncomfortable way, if that person has such a strong reaction on your field, that is every cell in your body telling you that this is this wave of energy or this center point of energy that we call whatever name of that person is, is my person. So as, as those of you who know me, like I, I don't promote private sessions. Those are only for those who are truly feel guided in a way that something just takes over. Like, I don't know why, but I need to be in a presence of whatever energy comes through for a session or several. What I found to work the best for those who are like still new to this, like powerful energies is group session. So mm. we have an Angels Get Academy where we meet every Saturday and we form these containers on Zoom and we get to experience these energies that's activation. So we work on ancestral karma, trauma, celestial trauma and karma. I mean, there's so many things. There's so many layers to our beingness. And if you just begun traveling to past lives or maybe even trying to go back to childhood and clearing something, there is so much more. There is... The more you discover another part of you becoming, the more you realize whoosh, there's so much more to go because we truly are infinite, not as a body, but as you get to open up your vessel and you get in touch with that divinity within you, you realize that you can access anything, anywhere in real time, past, future, present, everything is in the now. You can access and download gifts and, and, and information and and wisdom from those who are not even around so there are so many ways you can super humanize yourself to help you lead and be the leader or the person that you are meant to be whatever that work is however your service is in this world i love working with entrepreneurs because they get to lead so many people and through one person we get to create such a big impact it takes one of us every single one of us has the opportunity to make that shift into the collective as we are doing here now yeah, absolutely. Like we're all here carrying the the frequencies to create the change around around us. And especially so many more people like are like identifying as light workers, star seeds here to do this work on the planet and and launch into the spiritually led businesses and are leaving maybe a lot of hustle and grind or corporate culture and moving into more and more holistic healing modalities and, and things like that. So it's been quite a journey just for me and in, in, in coming into this area and learning about all of this different modalities of healing and what we need to tune into. And I like the sound of this Saturday monthly group. It's like, sorry, what every week you have it? You every week, every yes. Saturday. <laughs> there's so many downloads coming throughout the week that we do it weekly because there's so much to share and then light those that come through. So yes, we get to play. Yeah. And also just learning and integrating more about how to, I don't know, access these intuitive powers or I'm, I'm hearing a lot about this, like accessing Akashic records or past life regression work. And it's, it's definitely, I feel like so many more people are opening up to the importance of, of doing that work, right? And why there's benefit in healing through what understanding what comes through with past life work and karmic connections and all of this stuff. So <laughs> it's great to have a, a group container to be able to feel supported and talking about these, these same things. And do you also have different people like each week that are coming through and teaching different parts of your, your group course, or is it just like channeling work that you're doing? It's channeling. And when you become a channel, you never run out of things to channel. I'll, I'll tell yeah. you that. <laughs> and, and, and it's truly coming from my human self. It is, to me, I feel like I received the utmost gift to be the, the vessel of what's coming through. And 
And when I open up and I allow the humanness to simply set aside and, and trust that what's coming through is meant for me and every person that shows up. And when you see their hearts being touched, when you see them becoming lit from inside out, there's, there's no more human joy that I can experience than knowing that what's coming through has touched somebody to such a deep level that now they remembered another glimpse of how amazing they are. And that's every single person listening to this in real time or afterwards. It is time to look in a mirror and, and begin giving yourself credit for making it to this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been quite a journey and you have begun opening to other parts of your humanness because not everything makes sense. Something that made sense before does it. You're like, how in the world am I thinking about this person? They're messaging me. How am I? Nothing else is happening in my life. Yet there's a wave of energy that makes me feel really joyous or really unhappy. Am I not, have I not done the work? Like, why am I sensing all of this? And when you begin to only look through the lenses of a human mind, it can become an uneasy road, so to speak. It, be, it can become chaotic. You, how can you comprehend yourself if you're so much more than being human through the human mind? So that is why I always invite, yeah, the mind is a beautiful thing, but can we open up and give the throne to our heart, heart, heart center? Oh, this got me so strong. Oh, heart center, because this energy point is a thousand times, even more than the now mind. Now you operate from here. And it's scary to the ego because it loses control. But as you operate from here, from the pureness of who you are, there is a much bigger power taking over you. I remember a year ago, I was doing this retreat and I was supposed to be on the computer for five hours, full on concentration. I had speakers coming in and I chose to do a water fast three weeks prior. So I went one week with one vegan meal and then one week was only liquids. The third week I went water fast and two days before my retreat, I was guided to do dry fast to go no food, no water. I'm like, this is crazy. I have to do a retreat. How am I supposed to speak? I'm like, I'm, I can barely stand without feeling dizzy but I was guided my guide and said no you're gonna go three days with no food no water and you're gonna do the retreat and I did the retreat and I had my my feet in a bucket of water so I trained my body to absorb water through my feet and I remember sharing like how is this even human after all these weeks I, I haven't had any food any fuel in my system for a long time how am I still so full of energies because when you open up your heart field and you surrender your whole self to the divine to the source to your guidance team your power is infinite there was mm -hmm. something much bigger holding me and, and working through me and and giving me fuel that wasn't human because i had not had any food or water in a while so i'm sharing this example to show you that not that i'm special or my body is special is i was guided to push myself through such a boundary and simply notice what is possible because so many things that we're learning now in this system, in the entire schooling system, is limitation after limitation after limitation after limitation. So what if we slowly, slowly but surely, fire the ego, place it into the following position and open up, give the throne to your heart and sense our way through what is good and what is not, what is, begin, you'll begin discerning the truth what is truly authentic. I mean, we're moving into a much even more robotic world with AI and ChatGPT. You don't even know what's real or what's not anymore. <laughs> when you open up your heart field, you will know because the words, the, the, the voice, the beingness of a person will touch you if it's real. If it's not, you'll simply hear or see something pretty that only fuels the mind. So... Mm -hmm. Let's open up our superpower field, which is our heart. As you open up, you will attract more beings. They're at the same level. You begin this filtering and purification process within yourself. And the more you fall in love with you, the more you're like, oh, this belief? No, nope, not mine. This belief? No, mine. This belief? No, mine. You're like, I'll choose to believe what feels right to my light. Now what I hear around, because as I go through meditation, I go within, I realize that I'm infinite. I have access to all that is. So you cease to follow those matrix and you walk through the world through the matrix, but not being of the matrix because you are creating your own experience. Right. 
And like you said, shedding away as we go, each each kind of limiting belief or thought. And for a lot of us, I think a lot of it is kind of deconstructing the religious systems or the patriarchal belief systems that we have been kind of embedded with from day one with our programming. And so much of this work is about not conforming to anything that's bringing you into this state of fear or guilt or shame, like rule, rule based programs, but then focusing on what we do and what we need authentically, that comes from our own heart, heart space. And it's, it's, it's so important from, from a spiritual perspective, or from regardless of what religion or background we're coming from, but that we have these common, these commonalities of what's where we need to have what our decision making needs to come from when it comes from the heart, not just the deception or the distorted distortions that we're that we're living in in this planet at this time. And I yeah, I, I find it amazing that you are doing the channeling work and having the group sessions. And also, when you talk about the power of source working through you, not that it's you doing the work, I think that's really important, because so many People ask me or people who are coming from religious traditions, they're very skeptical of anyone who's kind of like a spiritual group guru or intercessor intercessor between you and and God, right? And so I'm just curious how how do you talk to your clients when it comes to articulating that the work is being done like through you as a vessel, not like you the you're the one having these this amount of power when you see the transformation with your clients. I have not been encountered with that question, believe it or not. Oh, really? And it's probably because I had to work the belief within myself being or feeling as my human self, human self feeling worthy of what's coming through. So once I clear the belief within me, there is the outside world is a reflection of what's going on within our relationship outwards are a reflection, what is amazing, what needs to be addressed within. So if I'm encountered with a lot of disbelievers, that means mm. I'm not believing in me or in what's coming through. If you have been through any of my journeys or, or Saturday sessions, that you walk out of there knowing that you had the magic wand. Because any session, any journey that I take the group or I personally through, I'm paving the highway, but you are the one doing mm -hmm. the work. I cannot do that for you. What I can hold is a certain frequency of love and light to see the greatness within you as I hold that pure field, you find your way back home to you. So yeah. there is no one that does your healing except you. What you can do, how you can speed up the process is find the person that is yours and trust, open up your field and allow them to pave the highway for you. Nobody can hold you. They can hold your hand, but nobody can walk for you. That is your path. Otherwise, you'll constantly need that healer or the psychiatrist or the therapist continue working the same problem. If you come through me, my goal is I, I rarely teach the same thing twice. That's why my group is still with me because there's always something new that comes through. So as, as you come into my world, you will begin playing with the energy and becoming the master of you. And I walk the path with you alongside yes. That's amazing. So yeah, I'm curious for people who are wanting to follow you or I get involved with the, the Angels Gate Academy. Like where do people where, where do you want people to go to follow or be a part of your your weekly classes? Um, and then I know you mentioned you do sometimes do one on one, but what kind of like courses or programs do you have that people are really excited about right now? You can find some things on mastersoulhealer.com. I believe I share the a complimentary yes. activation with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have that in the email. So I'll add it on to this uh, yeah. link at, after the call. Yeah. So when you do that activation on the same page, there will be other ways to connect with me. But the easiest way that you can do right now is YouTube. Just simply search for Veronica Park Soul Healer. We just completed a 33-day activation. It's a 33-day of becoming. And they're like, short channelings and I would highly suggest that you take at least one day to master one channeling within there were two to seven minutes but they're very activating every time you listen 
it will take you somewhere else. You will open up something else within. So that is complimentary. You can find it on YouTube. And then if you want to get closer, we have our Facebook group. And from there, you can join our Saturday session. Follow your field, whatever. If, if part of the energy or things that come through, you're like, no, I just want to get my toes tipped in the water, then YouTube is your best version. If you want to get close and join us and this Saturday, we're going to do a, a full moon ceremony and activating our entire field to connect to this mother Kundalini and the light codes that come through so we can assimilate this better than join a Saturday session or, yeah. or reach out to me in any way and I'll send you the link for that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's this Saturday for the new moon session. For the full moon. Full yeah. moon, full moon session. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. That sounds great and really timely. And like, I know that we're in this portal for the next seven days. So all of the manifestation techniques and anything that we do with this strong intention leading us into this whole year, right? It's a lot of big changes. And what are you predicting, Veronica? Like anything big for this year that you're seeing that the collective, oh, thank you. You got your, your website there. Yeah. Anything big for this year that we should be kind of on the lookout for, or what are you channeling that's really important for the collective right now? I see a lot of magical things and I see a lot of confusion as so many of us are opening up to this spiritual abilities, telepathic abilities, abilities to sense, communicate, feel, maybe speak through other energies. What's coming through is the request to truly be pure in your ways and your thoughts and how you use this energies for, because anything that goes out comes back four times stronger. Our words have power. So if we truly want to have the most amazing year ahead, then begin choosing your words wisely because every word is a spell. And we can follow the same story of sharing, this is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. This is who I am. We can choose to share who you choose to be. So making a prediction for anything or anyone will be a misguidance because you having the key, you can switch the timeline now in this moment. You don't have to wait. And every single one of you is going to find your own path to that best version of you. So if you entertain most thoughts about things that you don't have, things that you want, you're sharing the vibration of not having it. If you allow yourself some time every day to daydream, watch a child copy from them, remember. And begin to dream what is the home that you wish to live in? What is the experience you wish to have in a, in a relationship? What anything that you choose to have, begin daydreaming. Feel that. Dream your life into your reality. Become the producer, the writer, and write out your 2024 film. Not what your mind wants, but what would feel good. And, and take the ride. Take it every night. And you'll notice in a very short amount of linear time will begin to manifest in your reality. So the future ahead is truly up to you. You are the master of what you came to be and do. So as I look ahead for, for my humanness, for my soul family, where, where those who have identified themselves so far to be, I'm excited for them because truly any experience that comes through is to open yourself up to more of you. And as you do begin to traverse through this dense reality, as if you are living in a different dimension while living alongside the rest of humanity, they're still focused solely on a 3D dimension. So I invite you to choose to dream. How do you choose your 2024 to be? Not what you need from here, from here, from there, where the person, but how do you choose to feel? Feel that now. If it's abundant, great. Close your eyes and imagine yourself bathing into, I don't know, thousands and thousands and thousands of paper, currency or gold, whatever that is. See it as, as you go to sleep. Notice that shower flowing through, bathe in that abundance that is yours, that is coming to you, right? If you want to feel that joy, feel that joy. Remember what it's like to be a kid and just activate the light in every cell of your body until you're no longer feeling the density until you're so big so expensive that you magnetize everything to you feel loved that is the zero point of acceptance can you look in a mirror and see all of you and be okay accepting and loving you 
that is the toughest work I invite you to do. Yet when you do it, then you master it. Then you look in a mirror and you fall in love with you. You will only see love around you because the outward the reflection is a mirror within you. So you get to choose how your year is going to be. You are the master. We are. Yeah. And we, I just, I was at a retreat a couple of weeks, weekends ago, making a vision board and cutting out for the magazines and gluing it onto the cardboard. So I have that vision boards, writing it down every day and just doing the little affirmations that make sure that we are feeling it at that vibrational frequency every day is like the key, the golden key, right? In this process for what we want for right now, make sure we can like resonate at that frequency of gratitude and abundance, right? Mm-hmm. It's the hard, it's the hard work that that comes when we're we're trying to detach from the outcome and waiting for that lag time in the 3D reality to bring it to us, right? <laughs> so that's amazing, Veronica. And yeah, I think that do we have any if, if we have any other questions? I'm checking on Facebook if anyone has any final comments or would like to share. We do have a few minutes here. But otherwise, I'm going to invite you guys to go check out Veronica's website, mastersoulhealer.com, and start attending these Saturday classes. Those are those sound wonderful. Those are free, right? If we if you register the Saturday now, they are part oh, of the okay. Angels Get Academy. So we go okay. deep. we go really deep. Yes. Okay. And- yeah. So, yeah. Let's so because I wasn't sure if it was like a certain if you get some some of your record. Oh, YouTube. You said was for free, like the yes. thirty day, the 30, 30 day. What did you call it? The downloads? Day? If you just search for 33 days of becoming, it will pop up and you'll see the channel that was, they're all channeled through the divine source. I wanted to share something completely different. And when the energy yeah. came through, it like pushed me out of the way. Or like, this is what it needs to be shared. Yeah. So those, those channelings are truly powerful. And as you get to experience them with your headphones, you'll begin to awaken to your own power, to your own abilities. And as more of us awaken to this, then the collective begins to ascend because the moment you feel good, you're like, well, I don't want to go back to that. I want to feel more of this and feel more of this and feel more of this. And, and then you begin imprinting this energy into your day, day, day to day life, whether it's driving around, going to grocery store, where we're interacting with the client, you become that mm-hmm. of the energy that you opened yourself up to. Now, what a gift that is for you and all those around you. That is the world that I see for us. I love it. Thank you so much, Veronica. And yeah, so definitely we'll have those links. And I have about 150 people who are registered for these calls each week. And I send out the replays. A lot of people can't attend during the day. But thank you for everyone who has hopped on today. And uh, we'll be back the same time tomorrow. And I'll also send out the replay recording as well. And Veronica, so anyone who didn't uh, catch us live on the 222-24 portal, <laughs> I don't know if that's enough twos, but it's a, it's been a great session. And I feel so blessed to have had you on today. Thank you so much. It was a great call. <laughs> Such a pleasure. Thank you, beautiful, for doing the work you do. Thank you. And for every single person that showed up, much yes, love. Much love. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.